Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Basic Course Service Now Learning. So in today's video, we are going to explore bug life cycle in software development. So let's see what all topics we are going to study today. First, what is a bug? Second, what is a bug life cycle? Third, what are the scenarios when bug is marked as deferred, rejected and duplicate? And fourth, what is the process when bug is reopened? Okay, so let's see what is a bug. So friends, when software tester perform testing and finds that actual result is not matching to the expected result, then that result is said to be a bug and it needs to be reported. For example, if you have to send a email to a particular person, let's say you have to send an email to person X, Y, Z. Okay, and you mark him in a recipient and write some email and click on send button. Then what happened? Then that particular email is not received by that XYZ person. In case if it is received by ABC person or that particular email is not delivered to anyone. So it means that that is not working as far as the expected functionality or as far as the expected result. Then is said to be a bug. Okay, so let's see. What is a bug life cycle? So friends, bug life cycle is also known as a defect life cycle. It is basically displayed the states of the bug from which it goes through its entire life. Okay, so this bug life cycle state transition is start as soon as new bug is found by a tester. Okay, so friends, bug life cycle basically contains a different states of bug and their transition that how a particular bug move from one state to another state. So let's see what all states are there in bug life cycle. So friends, this is basically a bug, bug life cycle flow chart. So here it we have new, we have open, assigned, fix, retest, closed, reopen, deferred, rejected, duplicate. See all these are basically a state of a bug. So for example, if a software tester log a bug or create a new bug, Okay, then that particular bug moves to a open status. Okay, then a software development team lead decide that whom he has to assign that particular bug to fix. Okay, so what he will do, he will see the bug and decide that that particular bug needs to be fixed or it needs to be deferred, rejected or duplicate. So if he decide that a particular bug is genuine bug and it needs to be fixed, then he assign that bug to a particular developer to fix it. Okay. So once the particular bug is assigned to a particular developer to fix, then developer work on that particular bug, modify the code and then he fix the bug. So once the bug gets fixed, then again that particular bug is assigned to a to software tester to retest it. Okay. So software tester retest the particular functionality again. So if he finds that the particular bug is not working fine, then what he will do, he will reopen the particular bug. Okay. But if he finds that whatever fix has been done by developer is working fine and the first functionality is working as expected, then he will close the bug. Okay. So this is basically a positive flow where a bug status transition from new to close. Okay. So let, let's see the new scenario again. So the another scenario is when the bug is reopened. So friends, when the developer fix the bug from his end, but when tester test the functionality or we can say retest the functionality and he found that the bug is not resolved or not working as expected, then it means that particular bug needs to be reopened. Okay. So friends, if bug is got fixed and it is retesting by a software tester and he finds that particular bug is not or we can say the particular functionality is not working as expected then what he will do he will reopen the particular bug and then the particular bug is reassigned to a particular developer to fix okay then the particular developer again fixed that particular bug okay and then again he gave the particular software tester to retest it again and software tester again retest it okay and if he finds that it is working fine then he will close it otherwise if he again find that particular bug uh, fixes is not working as expected then what he will do he will reopen it again okay so if he finds that particular bug fixes is working as expected then he close the bug so basically this is a reopen functionality it is particular cycle which 
happens in between a developer and a tester. Developer fix the bug, tester test the fixes. So if fixes work fine, then the particular bug get closed. Otherwise, it will reopen again and again. Okay. So let's see the another scenario. The another scenario is like when when can the bug can be marked as deferred. Okay. So let's see. Deferred status means that bug will be fixed in a next release. Okay. Means that in this release where testing is going going on, where development is going on, the bug which is logged by a software tester will not be fixed in this release. It will be fixed in next release. So this is basically the definition of a deferred, which most of the time interviewer asks at the time of interview. Okay. So for example, tester found a bug, but development lead or project manager or product owner finds that to fix that bug, some new enhancement has to be done in a software and that will only be developed in next release. Then that bug state is changed to deferred and referred to a next release. Now let's understand it's in a bug life cycle. So see if the particular bug is logged by a uh, software tester and it is in open state, then a lead development lead or a product owner or a product manager will analyze that particular bug and if you find that this bug will not be fixed in this release then what he will do he will move that particular status to deferred and it will be catered into a next release okay so basically this is a deferred state in a bug life cycle so friend the next scenario is when the bug can be marked as rejected Okay, so friends, if the development team lead feels that the bug is not genuine and there is no need to fix it, so he changed the state of the bug to rejected and closed the bug. Okay, so it happens sometimes when software tests a particular functionality and he finds that it is a bug and he logs into a system. Okay, but when it is reviewed by a development team lead and he finds that that, that bug is not like genuine or something. So what, what happens, the particular discussion is going between uh, two teams in a testing team and development team and after discussion, if it comes to know that this is not a genuine bug, then that particular bug is marked as rejected. Okay, so let's say in bug lifecycle. So if the bug is in open state and discussion is going on between a development team and he finds that bug is not genuine, then what he will do, he will mark it as rejected. The state changed to a rejected and then that particular bug is closed. Okay, so this is basically a cycle that how to reject a bug in a bug tool or how when the particular bug get rejected. Okay, let's move to a new scenario. The new scenario is duplicate. So when the bug can be marked as duplicate. So if development team lead finds that the same or the same concept bug is already available in bug list or in a bug reporting tool, then he will mark the state of a bug as duplicate and close the bug. Okay. So friends, what happened if software tester log a particular bug with some text? Okay. And what happened in a system, there is already a particular bug of a particular concept with some different text or or different content I can say but the concept is same but the bug is same so what happened that particular bug is marked as duplicate because system is already having a particular bug so there is uh, there is no requirement that of a same concept a system contain a two bug okay so one that particular bug will get closed and the previous bug will get catered and fixed by a developer so let's see in a bug life cycle see if the bug is in open state development lead finds that that particular bug already exists in a system then what he will do he will change the state of a bug to a duplicate and then he close the particular bug okay friends so friend this is basically a bug life cycle where different transition of a bug has been displayed so friend this is all for this video i hope this video helped you to understand the bug life cycle and help you to understand the bug okay if you like this video please do not forget to click on a like button okay and if you have not subscribed my channel yet Please do subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you friends. Have a nice day. Bye bye.